Hello everyone, my name is Smarin. I am studying in grade 4 Genesis Hyderabad. Today, I am going to introduce you to one of the coolest inventions called Heron's Fountain. The beauty of this invention or idea is that it doesn't need electricity or a pump to run the fountain. We are going to power the fountain by using the potential energy of water, gravity and air compression. This project will help you understand the fundamentals of pneumatics and hydraulics. Now I'm going to let you have a little bit of fun by watching how this fountain works. Isn't it amazing how this fountain works without any electricity or pump? Now, I'm going to fill up the fountain with some water. I'm going to also explain the physics behind the water fountain. So let me first pour the water. As you can see, as I pour the water, the water has directly went through the straw and it traveled and it also came to the bottom bottle. Now I have to prime the system. But you might think, what is the meaning of prime? A certain amount of water required to start the system. So to prime the system, I just need to flip it over. So just like this. So that you can fill the middle bottle. So now just we need to flip it over again. And now we just need to add some more water for it to start making the fountain. So now the water in this water bottle is at a potential energy state. So whenever it's poured into the cup, because of gravity, the water rushes to the bottom water bottle. So the, as it gets filled up with water, there's air compression going on there. So the air tries to escape to the middle water bottle. So it tries to occupy most amount of space it could possibly get in the middle bottle. That forces the water from coming up from here until the top straw and forcing the water to come out as a fountain. So that is the physics which, are, which is going on between the air, water and gravity. So now if I pour a little bit more water, it will start, it, the fountain will start to rise up and it will make the fountain. So let's do that. bit of water because as you can see the bubbles down going there that is the air pressure by the bottom one as you can see the air is coming over here and occupying as much space as it could because the water is slowly getting down now let's quickly see what we need for this project we need two bottles and one big bottle some few straws, a hot glue gun, if you do not have a hot glue gun, you can use any type of glue and a soldering gun. If you don't have a soldering gun, you can use anything that can poke the hole to the bottles. So now let us start with the project. Now I'm going to show you step by step on how to make the water fountain. The first thing you want to do is attach the two bottles together like this. 
we also need to keep two holes so that the straws can go through the holes so for that we are going to remove the caps and then we are going to also drill two holes then align them together like this and then put hot glue around it so that they stick well together but if you do it the opposite way where you keep glue again and keep the soldering gun then the hot glue will again melt and come out so we are going to first drill the hole through the caps and then we're going to keep the hot glue so let's start it up so now you should have supervision by parents so that you don't get any hurt so as you can see we have drilled two holes for each cap now we're going to do the same process for the other cap on the big bottle so let's remove the cap so now we have to take the big bottle cap and we have to stick it over here so that the straws can go and create the fountain so let's do that so first we have to drill a big hole over here and then stick the cap and the bottle together using the hot glue so let's do that so now let us build the straws for the fountain they also help by passing the water from one bottle to another and also allow air flow to pass from one straw or one bottle to another bottle and also this causes the fountain to come out so now let's build up the straws and if you have a big straw it is great but in case you don't have then you just need to slide these two inside for that we just need to make a small cut over here so that you can slide the other straw inside so now let's make a small cut over here so i'm taking the scissors and then cutting a small edge until here great and now we can stick these both straws together by just pushing it push them them inside like that so now just to make it perfectly sealed we're going to add a little bit of hot glue so that they are perfectly sealed so now let us glue the light blue caps together so now this is how it looks like after it's sticking together as the hot glue hardens it will stay together so we are going to keep this aside for now while the hot glue is drying up we are going to make the cup on top of the fountain so that it holds the water that is coming out and starts to feed itself so now this is how it goes we are going to cut this part of the bottle and we're going to stick it to the final result so that the water doesn't come out so let's do that so now we should take the big straw and keep it under one of the holes so now just go and make it go through one of the holes like this and then just screw it on to one of the bottles so just like that. and then screw it tightly then you can just poke it through a little bit make sure it's just just about it just like that or like half inch about and now you can take one of these small straws which is not attached to anything and just poke it through one of the other holes just one inch underneath the caps like that we have to make sure that there are no holes over here so that the water doesn't leak as shown over here you have to glue the entire area so that there's no any chance of water leakage so now we have to take the other bottle and make sure that the green one slides over the hole as you can see there is a hole on top of this bottle so just show the green one so goes there then you screw it up 
and then take the other straw which we glued up with the other straw with, which are pink and then just make sure that this is going inside the hole together but make sure that it is right above the air okay just like that do not make it touch the caps so now the other part is that we have to take the other cap and then just slide one of the pink one and then do it for the other green one by allowing both of these and now just need to fix it up and then just we need to cut out this part so that it doesn't keep too much of the water we need to flow it overflow so we just need to cut it under here and then just cut one of these so just cut right above onto the cap and then just screw it on back check out the weak spots of the bottle and make sure you perfectly glue that and also check if there's any leakage by using the water so when you're done you just need to fill it with water continuous fountain the fountain will only stay until the water in the middle bottle is there when it gets to the bottom bottle water bottle it starts to stop as you can see it's slowing down because there is the most of the water is going down to the bottom funnel that's all about heron's fountain hope you like this project thank you very much